Hello, this is Mark with BedBugSupply.com, and today we'll be going over Sterifab. Uh, Sterifab is a contact killer. It's made up of about 60% isopropyl alcohol, then it has a small percentage of a synthetic pyrethroid. Uh, given it's a contact killer, after it dries, it's no longer active, so you want to use it in conjunction with a good residual, like Bedlam or Phantom or JT Eaton kills bedbugs too. Uh, it has been tested, it was tested recently by ICR, and what they found was over a uh, one hour period, 100% of the bed bugs were knocked down, then after 24 hours, all the bed bugs were dead. Even though it's a non-staining product, you always want to do a small, inconspicuous area just to be safe. In the following demonstration, we're going to go over how to apply it on to a mattress properly, as well as how to put it into cracks and crevices. Again, with any kind of approach with Sterifab, which is a contact killer, you need to follow it up with a good residual. Residuals kill slower, but they last longer, which is why we use a good contact killer, which goes in fast, knocks down the population, then we back it up with a residual insecticide after the Sterifab has been applied. What we have here is a potential hot spot for bed bugs. They normally reside within about 10 feet and 15 feet of the bed. So as we can see here, we have a carpeted baseboard and we have a cable line running along the perimeter of the room. What you want to do before you put down any kind of insecticide is to put on protective gloves and also wear eye protection in case it sprays up in your face. What we're going to do is go very slowly across the baseboard and put a very small application. You don't have to use a lot of Sterifab to do the application. Less is more with any kind of insecticide. So we just kind of start here and you work your way down. Another example of where you can use Sterifab would be on the seams of the mattress, which is where bed bugs can normally be found, especially along the gusset inside of here, and then along the seams as we go across the mattress here. What you want to do is again do a light application. You don't have to use a lot of Sterifab, but first you can hit the actual seams. Go very slowly, just use a little bit. And then also inside the gusset as you go across. And work your way all the way across the mattress. When doing a crack and crevice treatment with Sterifab, you want to kind of seek out any kind of cracks where bed bugs can be. If you can fit a credit card inside the crack, the bed bugs can also slide in between. So along the perimeter of this window, we're going to go ahead and do a light application to get into that crack. Here we have an example of a dresser. We've already taken the drawers out, taken the clothing out, and put them in the dryer on high heat. What we're going to do now is do a light application of Sterifab as a knockdown approach along the hot spots for bed bugs, the tracks here, and along the back edge in the rear. Um, as with any knockdown or contact approach with Sterifab, you always want to follow up with a good residual, whether it's Phantom, Bedlam, or JT and kills bed bugs too. So just want to take the bottle and just do a light application all the way down on all the tracks, the back edge over here. Just like that. 